YouTube, I'd like you to meet Snapchat. Snapchat, I'd like you to meet YouTube, and both of you, I'd like you to meet this good looking fella. <laughs> what a beauty. You are the sunshine in my life. To love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. But you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. Hey up team, how you doing? You well? Look. I'm walking. I do not need my crutches anymore, which is good news. So I'll give you a quick peek, peek update with some footage in the background because I've been getting tons and tons of stuff over the last couple of days. It is now the 17th of January. It's my 21st birthday. Thank you very much for the wishes. Absolutely, really, really enjoying it. Done, done a lot of hard work this morning. Um, opened my presents from my grandma and my mother. My mother? <laughs> my ma. Fun, they got me a huge bottle of Belvedere vodka. Um, which lights up and says happy birthday Niall on it. So that was that was amazing. Holy sh Take it out. Angie box. Oh my lordy. Happy twenty first Niall. Has he got a light as well? Yeah. Holy oh, I need a photo straight up. So yesterday the sixteenth of Jan. I went down to Lily Shaw, our National Sports Centre, to see our doctor and physio. Very, very positive, guys, very positive. I do need to see a surgeon and a specialist on ankles tomorrow on the 18th of Jan. I will be going down to London um, to see the guy, for him to have a look and to tell me and gauge himself whether I need surgery or not to repair the ligaments. So I'd say it's looking very positive at the minute. Hopefully, I won't need surgery. I'll be able to just. My dad's ringing me just one sec. Yo, the ankle can hopefully can get strong enough, be secure to do my big gymnastics again uh, without having surgery, without repairing the ligaments. Scenario, we'll get wait to see what the surgeon says. Whatever will be, will be. We crack on, we smash it. Uh, my training's going really well. I've been eating really, really well the last few days. I still feel lean, I still feel good. Currently also trying to rehab a shoulder at the same time. I've had a bad shoulder for a couple of months now, so it's a great time whilst I've got this to try and sort this shoulder out as well. I'll be speaking to my nutritionist on Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, um, about what supplements I will be taking you know, to help the healing process to recover faster. I'm probably seeing a physio daily or every other day. From the scan results, it's been such a positive. I know I'm in this situation, but I literally snapped two ligaments and then the list of things that I haven't done was scary to listen to. You know, there's numerous more ligaments, there's no tendon damage, no cartilage damage. Bone damage would have been a big one because now obviously I, c I can walk in the boot because the movement and the pressure helps aid the healing of ligaments. Whereas if it was bone, I'd have been on the crutches, no weight bearing for six weeks. So that's a massive positive. Um, and again, other things, my shins are okay, my bones in my leg are okay. So it's all really, really great and I'm excited to crack on. Don't count me out for these competitions, guys. You know, obviously, I've got to be safe. I've got to be monitored and I've got a great team of physios around me. The machines that I'm using, um, they've got ice machine. I've got incredible, incredible support. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go at my own pace and we'll see how it is. But I'm, I'm excited just from just from one week. It's not even been a week. The movement and the swelling that's in my ankle. I hope you're having a great week. Thank you so much for your birthday messages. I've got some videos on the screen from Cool from my party last week. Um, for people that couldn't make it, they sent in videos that my sister sorted out, which is really cool. Yes, Niles, Tom Zanetti here. Just a quick message to say happy birthday, and I hope you all have a great night at your party tonight. Niall Wilson, hi, it's Ori, your dance partner here. So sorry I'm not there to cut up all the shapes with you on the dance floor. Niall, happy birthday, my friend. I wish you all the best to your 21st birthday. Hey, Niall, hope you have an amazing 21st birthday up in Leeds. I just want to wish you a happy birthday. 
and all the best for your upcoming year. Hi Niall, it's uh, Danny Maguire from the Leeds Rhino. Uh, Team USA here, just want to say happy birthday to you, happy 21st. Oh, it's always all of us here, all the diversity boys, just wanted to say happy birthday man. Hey Niall, happy new year mate. Um, more so, just want to wish you a fantastic 21st Best birthday. Best thing about being a gymnast from Jemmy Mag. Did you know what, like, it's a sport that's so unique and it's just something that, you know, obviously I, I, say, this, I say this to a lot of people, but everyone can run, everyone can swim, everyone can kick a ball. Obviously not to Olympic level and um, I'm not taking anything away from, from high level athletes in different sports. But who off the street can do what we do? You know, the very, very select few in the world. I think that's why I love it so much, is because it's very unique. It's so fun being able to fly through the air, swing around steel bars, do things the human body was not designed to do. I think that's my biggest that's my biggest love for the sport. And then the buzz you get when you compete. Alright, so S. Jones, would you rather have a really fun coach but loads of conditioning or a really boring, horrible coach with no conditioning at all? And why? Hashtag Ash Nile. <laughs> Don't know what's possessed you to ask that question, whether you've got one or the other. However, you cannot get away with not conditioning. It's just complete fact. You know, I spend four to six hours in the gym every single day and at least 30% of that. So if I'm in the gym six hours, two hours of it is spent conditioning and that's just a maintenance. You know, having to maintain my strength and being able to do all these skills, and, and I think when you even when you're even younger and you're wanting to progress and progress, the amount of conditioning that we was made to do, which we needed to do. I think to answer your question, I, I'd rather have a fun coach and lots of conditioning because I know that where I am today, I wouldn't have got there without the conditioning. And, and your body needs to be physically prepared to do the things that we do in the gymnastics. I think if you hate conditioning, it is not. You know what? It is so it is hard. You know, going through the pain, but. These are all the characteristics of success and if you want to achieve and you want to improve, you've got to go through these things. But um, I'd say, you know, if you just want to have fun with gymnastics as well and, and it's not, you know, to, to me, like, I just enjoy, I love the sport, but I'm telling you 100% you will love it more if your body's in a better physical position, 100%, because you'll be able to do more skills, you'll be able to do more hours, you'll enjoy it more because you feel better. Hey, up, Niall, how are you doing? All right. Do you want to come answer a question? Yeah. What's your favourite floor tumble? My favourite floor tumble, <laughs> yours? Yours. <laughs> well, my favourite favourite floor tumble, to be honest, has changed over the years. It used to be a forward roll and stand up and put my hand in the air. It's now changed to a backward roll. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my gymnastics is not what it used to be now, you know, I mean, a lot of years ago I was pretty good at it, but, you know, over recent years, as I'm heading towards 50, I just haven't quite got the flexibility, the application. Right, I've, got a, I've got a more um, appropriate question for you. Pizza or cake? Uh, both. <laughs> and I, That's what I said. <laughs>